I've logged in into my local instance of Jenkins. Okay. When you log in for the first time or after the installation, you will see this screen. But if you are having any existing uh, Jenkins platform, then you will be mostly seeing the views, views with the different jobs. Okay. So create, uh, let's first create our Jenkins job. Okay. Let me click on new item. And name this job as playwright JavaScript. Okay. And we will select freestyle project. Click on OK. Okay. So in this general tab, we will give our uh, project description. Let's say this is player ID. Using Java script. Okay. Now we have to uh, point to the project path where uh, our project will be located. Okay. It can be any local path or as well as it can be from any of your source control or version control management system like GitHub, Bitbucket and so on. So for this uh, video, I will be using my GitHub uh, project. Okay, let's see how we can do. So first click on source, con uh, source code management. Okay, and here by default none is selected. We will be selecting Git. Okay, you will be getting this option uh, of Git only when you have Git plugin installed with this Jenkins instance. Okay, now I, it's asking me for a repository URL. Okay, let me go back to my uh, GitHub project. Okay, this is my project under code with uh, MMAK, and uh, the project name is Playwright in JavaScript. Okay, I have to pick pick the path of this repository okay i can copy this okay and go back to my job and paste it here okay since this is a, a, a public uh, repository i don't need to specify any credential if it uh, it's a private repository then that time you have to give your credentials okay and uh, my whole source code uh, is on master branch. I have master branch in this uh, repository. Okay. If you have any other branch created, you can point out to that particular branch, else you can keep this as default. Okay. Then comes the build trigger. Okay. Here we don't need to do any anything. Okay. Then comes the build environment. Okay. Again, here also we don't need to do anything. Okay, uh, you can pick uh, delete workspace before build start. Every time you build, it will delete the workspace. But for now, for simplicity, I'm not deleting anything or selecting any of the these options. Okay, some of the uh, uh, these uh, options will be helpful when you are working on any uh, cloud environment and so. Okay, so let's give the build path okay so we have some commands which we were running uh, to trigger our playwright on local instance right so if you remember from this repository if i go back to the package of json file okay so under script we have so many uh, things which we have specified right to run the test we can you make use of these uh, while we are executing from Jenkins as well. Okay. For now, I am selecting uh, execute Windows batch command. Okay. Just to uh, do some checks. Okay. Uh, let me do dir. Okay. It will give me the directory path. Let me also do nod version. Okay. This will give me the nod version. And then npm hyphen version. This will give me the npm version okay then after this first thing we have to do is that uh, in our workspace we have to install the npm packages so we will add one more step execute windows batch command 
Okay, and here I'm going to specify npm install. Okay, so this is going to install all the dependencies which are mentioned in this package.json file, like the, these dependencies. Okay, then let's uh, add one more step, execute windows batch command. And here I will be giving, um, uh, let's say, uh, npm run e, e to e okay so what it will do is that it will call this okay where i am trying to clean some of the directories these directories and then it will run the test with this particular configuration file okay and then it will generate these many reports okay so i just need to call this e to e tag here Okay, uh, and then you can also add some post build action, but for this video sake, I'm just uh, trying to keep this simple. Okay, let me save this. Okay, our project is, uh, is created or job is created in Jenkins. Okay, uh, and I can quickly build it. Okay, uh, you will not be able to see this. It will be running the test in headless mode. Okay, let me do this and then open the console log. You will be able to identify there. Okay, let me build, build now. You can see the first build is added here. Let me click on this number one. Okay, and then select console output here. Okay. So uh, let's go to top. Okay, so if you can see it cloned the repository right which we pointed out okay and then basically uh, we did dir right so it gave me the directory where i am working okay so this is the directory where i have all the uh, project files okay because it has downloaded those files okay then i did not hyphen v it gives me not version which is 16.15.1 okay then i did npm hyphen version okay so this gave me 8.11.0 this is the npm version okay and then uh, i did npm install it installed all the dependencies which i had on uh, mentioned in my package.json file okay then it did npm run e to e okay it actually ran this command npm run clean uh, ampersand play write test followed by the configuration file and then the reporters which we used okay so first it did clean okay and then from here if you can see it started running all my tests Okay, and uh, all together there were five tests in this uh, repository. It ran all five tests, okay, and then it finished successfully. Okay, so this is how you can configure your job, okay, and get the results. Okay, so the build has passed. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching this video.